happy Friday, thank fuck it's the weekend. Welcome back to Drinking By Myself, my name is Emma and I'm currently reading three books at once, which is not the norm for me. We are finally coming into the weekend, which is a treat, and I intend to curl up with all three of these books at some point throughout the weekend. So I thought I'd just do a cosy little Friday reads, weekend reading plan video and tell you why I'm reading three books at once and what they are. Firstly, this one that you can see. This is the book I am reading physically, Great Circle by Maggie Shipstead. I'm not very far in yet. Less than 100 pages, and it's a big chunky book, but I'm really enjoying this so far. It's got two main timelines, so it's kind of in the vein of books I enjoy like Evelyn Hugo, like, um, what's the one? The Thirteenth Tale, like The Confession, stories like that where there's dual timelines and one of them is about this kind of mysterious famous person. We follow the same formula in here. The mysterious famous person is a female aviator. So she is called Marion Graves and in 1950 she sets off on this amazing journey to circle the whole globe in her plane. But something goes wrong and we know right from the beginning that she had a crash landing and ran out of fuel and she writes this one like final entry in her logbook. She went down history as being this remarkable woman. Jump to present day, we have a young woman who is an actress who is playing Marion Graves in the movie of her life. And she becomes kind of obsessed with the story of Marion Graves because they have a few parallels in their life, um, similarities in like their childhood, somewhere they were brought up. And so it's two famous people. That's what's fun. That's what's different about this one than the other ones in the same kind of format that I've read is that Marion Graves is this like famous person in history, um, fictional. But then also in present day, the, the secondary timeline is also about a girl who is this like mega, mega famous Hollywood star. I think it's going to be a very sweeping story around the globe. So I'm really, really enjoying this one, but I think I'm going to read it quite slowly because it is big, uh, because it's beautifully written and so I'm savouring it, and because it's heavy. So I don't take it, I can't that easily take it with me wherever I go. Which brings me to, I finally charged up my Kindle. This thing has been out of battery for at least three months, but I decided now is the time. And I had all these books on NetGalley that I'd kind of forgotten that I requested, so I thought, let's get them on there. The book that I'm reading on here is called Nobody But Us. It is a thriller mystery and I've been reading this one in bed at night because it is easier to read this lying on my back rather than to read this above my head. Very dangerous. Nobody But Us is about a couple, these two strange characters, I don't know very much about either of them yet, a man and a woman who set off on this weekend away and they're both being really weird with each other and the man seems kind of sinister but I have a feeling that the woman is also hiding something. We know from the opening scene there is going to be some horrific crime scene at this house because it opened with like the police coming in and finding blood everywhere. So something is going to happen but we don't know what, we don't know who the villain is, we don't know who these people are. So far I don't know if it's going to be anything more than just like another kind of generic mystery with a fun twist, um, which I do like, but you know, they... I've read a lot of them. I don't know if this is going to stand out as anything more than that. But if it doesn't, that is not a criticism of it. It's exactly what I've been wanting to read in bed at night. Also, I can take this one more easily with me if I'm going on like a quick trip somewhere and not bringing a big bag. And then finally, I'm listening to an audiobook. This is an audiobook for my book club that I have with my uni friends. Um, and we're reading a non-fiction book. So I don't listen to audiobooks that often, but I know that non-fiction is like most likely to work for me as an audiobook. Because it's kind of like listening to a podcast. So I am listening to The Bravest Voices by Ida Cook, which was a hard book to track down because it has been renamed multiple times. It was originally called We Follow the Stars or something about stars. Then it was called Safe Passage. Now it is called The Bravest Voices. I don't even know if I got those in the right order. Maybe it's now called Safe Passage. I'm not sure anymore. But I'm listening to the audiobook. It's read by this woman with a very, very posh voice and I quite enjoy it. It's going to be about these sisters who um, helped like rescue people during the Second World War. They helped smuggle people out of Germany. That's what it's going to be about, but so far it hasn't been about that. It's just about them really liking opera. So I'm not hooked yet, but I think it is going to get very moving and tense and scary. So there you go. Those are my cosy reading plans for the weekend. Let me know in the comments below what you are reading at the moment and if it is something like this or something like this or something like this and which you prefer and why. So many comments I want you to leave me. Have a fabulous weekend.